Hello children, welcome to the online class of science. So today, what are we going to do, you know? Today, we are going to learn a new concept, okay? And what is it? Let us find out. See here, you can see a picture of a boy who is trying to pull his cart of toys you can see not cart a trolley of toys yes hmm? he's, he's trying to move the trolley by pulling it yes huh so he is applying some force to move the tro uh, trolley by pulling it yes here a man is pushing the table in this direction you can see and the table is moving in this direction okay means he is trying to move the table for some distance so you can see he is, he is doing some work okay huh? and to do any work you know you require energy yes you require energy to do any kind of work, work. yes and here you can see these are the different forms of energy, right? So today we are going to learn about force, work and energy, okay? In this chapter 11, right? Force, work and energy and today we are going to discuss what is force, about the force, okay? In part 1, right? So, shall we begin now? Yes, children? Yes. Now, so what is force? Hmm? Let us find out. See here. In these pictures, you see that these, these people are trying to pull. Okay, let us see. Here, a boy is pulling a trolley. Here, a man is pulling his luggage, his bag, you can say. Here, a woman is pulling a pot of water with a rope, right, from the well. Yes, children? And here, these children are pulling a rope in this game. You can see, it, it is a game of tug of war, yes? So, they are trying to pull the row towards each other, towards them. Okay, they, both the sides are trying to pull the row towards their side. Yes, fine. Further, here you can see they are pushing. They are pushing the things. In the first picture, you can see a woman is pushing a pram with a baby here woman is pushing her luggage on a trolley here a man is pushing a car here a man is pushing his loads on a trolley and here again a man is pushing a table so what they are doing they are trying to push okay means they are applying some force in pulling also, they need some force to pull. Here also, to push also, they need some force. So, now you can say that a force is a push or a pull, you can say. Right? See, in this picture also, this boy is pulling. Here, he is pushing. Right? Even when... You open the door or you close the door. Yes. When you open the door, you pull. Right children? Here, see here, he is pulling. Here also, she is pulling. Because she wants to open the door. Whenever you want to open the door, you pull. Okay. And when you want to close the door, you push. Right children? Huh? In many in many places where the door is of a glass, you must have read the instructions. Pull and push means to open and to close. Right? So now we can say that a force 
a force is a pull or a push on an object whenever you want to move something you pull or you push and you apply the force on that object so now you can say that force is a pull or a push on an object right so a push or a pull that acts on an object is called a force right children now what else this force can do hmm? force can do many things you know that force can stop a moving object okay if something is moving and if you go and hold it it will stop right children hmm? similarly force can change the direction of a moving object something is moving and if you go and hold it and if you throw it another place then it will it, it, it will get the direction change okay another thing a force can do is that it can change the shape of the object right it can change if if something like a, like something you know very well uh, you make the uh, toys of a clay yes a clay when you take that clay it is of different shape and if you apply some force and if you mold it you will get the shape which you desire a very well example is of ganpati making you do it at school also you know remember huh? when there is a competition you make you mold the ganpati yes so means you have done it many times so by applying the force you change the shape of the object okay now let us see some more examples of the of what force can do see in the first picture you can see a boy is kicking a football first it was just lying on the tape on the ground but when he is kicking a boy is applying the force and is kicking the football so it is it starts moving yes whenever you throw a ball okay then also it starts moving or any object when you throw it will start moving and you can say that force can move the object similarly force can also stop the object okay like see here a player has caught hold of a of a ball here see hmm? means a ball was moving but a player came and he caught the he caught the ball means it stopped the object from the moving even if a ball uh, a car is suppose your toy car is moving on a floor and if you go and and hold it it will stop moving right so you can say that force can also stop the object from moving yes further it can also change the direction of the object okay like here as you see a ball is coming in this direction okay huh? and when a batsman strike it, it it is going in another direction yes so you can say by applying the force the batsman has changed the direction of the ball so you can say that force can change the direction also when you play a badminton you know very well known game you all must be knowing about it so when you hit a shuttlecock see here when you hit it will it will change the direction and go in the another this part yes and so that the other other player can also strike it so by applying the force you can change the direction of the shuttlecock also okay these are just the examples further force can also change the shape of the object okay if you apply as i told you the example of a clay molding clay yes which you play so when you when you uh, when you apply some force the shape of the clay can be you can make any n number of toys out of that clay yes see here these examples here a ball by applying force it has become this shape here see this can okay by applying force the shape of the can has changed 
Another well-known example in your day-to-day -day life means your daily life you see all these things. See here. When your mother makes roti or chapati, okay, she rolls the dough. And when she rolls by applying some force, the dough changes into this circle, flat circle. Okay, and this becomes a chapati, you can see. See the shape changes. Even if she, she still rolls, it will become bigger in size. So you can say that a force can change the shape of the object. First the dough was round, right? Now it has become flattened. Right children? So now you understand what is force and what are the effects that force can do. Yeah, or, or you can say what are the things that force can do. That force can move the object, force can stop the moving object, force can change the direction of the object and force can also change the shape of the object. Right? So, here I stop the first part. In the next part, we will learn more about force. Till then, take care. Thank you.